simple Node.js uh, server-side uh, JavaScript, which uses a Redis server as a, for its uh, data. It's, um, well, I can first start with a Docker file, which contains uh, the Node.js. So I make a custom Docker file. Uh, I'd say it's from Node.js version 6 Alpine, which is um, a very lightweight version of Node.js. Uh, just, I just need a simple server. Eh? I create a directory for my uh, scripts. I run a npm install of uh, Redis version 3. So you can uh, install a specific version with this uh, at 3 um, uh, with this add sign to have a specific version. Um, and then I can add my uh, JavaScript to the uh, my app directory uh, that I can use later on. So it will be hard coded within the image. Yeah? Um, in fact, I, I can build it here, but I can also build it from the compose file. Uh, I will just take a look at the example JavaScript that I use. It's a JavaScript that uses the Redis uh, server and it um, just uh, shows um, your, uh, kind of help command. When you enter the, go to the URL, uh, it will say, welcome to uh, Docker, the Docker Compose helper. When I uh, when it detects that you uh, add up to it, it, say, uh, it shows a little help like what it does. It uh, can do stop and kill. These are the only commands that I wrote uh, in this. So it, I use the standard uh, create server function on port 80. It will listen for uh, these requests of uh, users and then it will try to answer this. Uh, here you can also see that it starts up the Redis uh, server and uses it here. So that's the part that I need. And then in the Docker file, I will uh, first of all uh, divide this in two servers, the web service and the Redis server. The web service, I will use the Docker file. Eh? I will build the Docker file. And um, I will start, uh, I will give the command node my app example.js, then it will start up uh, my web server. That's what it does as a function. It is linked to the Redis uh, server uh, so they can use it. And um, it also maps my local host port, port 8080 to port 80 uh, so that I can uh, test it and enter uh, URLs. So to start it up, I have to do a Docker Compose up. I will start it up in the background. Well, it's building it the web and uh, it's starting up uh, Redis and it's already started. Voila. So if I take a look at the containers running, look at container ls, it will show here for me the important part is that it's mapped my uh, port 8080 to port 80 of the Node.js uh, container. So in order to test that, I can uh, maybe use a text mode browser or you use your own uh, browser to go to localhost port 8080 and then um, voila, it says a welcome message because I did not um, add so a URL so if, for example I do a localhost 8080 and I go to the kill part it's like that. Yeah, it's, it says it uh, will kill a service and so on. So that's the running part. In order to remove this, I to, I can do a Docker compose down. Uh, I might even say that it has to delete volumes if it would have uh, volumes created. Uh, you'll see it will stop the services and uh, also the network it's running. Um, 